Hi, been getting a few questions about wet bulbs, dry bulbs, and uh, some people have been finding them confusing. Hopefully I'm gonna clear that up for you in a quick video. Behind me I have a GQF cabinet style incubator. It has two different thermometers on the outside. This one right here is our dry bulb. That tells us our temperature. This one right here is the wet bulb. It tells us our humidity. Uh, basically all they are is two meat thermometers. Um, get them at your local grocery store. You can order them from Amazon, wherever. Order them straight from GQF. You're gonna wanna calibrate both of those. Uh, this one will end up going into your incubator just like this. Probe goes in, determines the temperature, that's your dry bulb. Take your second one, you're gonna get a cotton wick. You can also just use the cotton hem of a shirt, just cut that right off. Be a nice tube of fabric. You take the probe, slip the probe over, I mean, into the uh, cotton wick, and then you have a wet bulb. This wet bulb is then gonna sit inside your incubator. Um, the wicks, the tail end of the wick is going to go into your water source. That water is going to lower the temperature on your wet bulb. And then you'll just use a conversion chart. You look up the dry bulb temperature on the top, wet bulb temperature on the bottom. Find the number, that's your radiant humidity. For chickens, um, pretty easy. Just want to keep that wet bulb up above. You know, I, I like to stay around the 88 degrees, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's a good range for them. But really, that's that's all there is to it. Just simply uh, two calibrated thermometers. Turn one into a wet bulb. You, you know to check 100 degrees Fahrenheit on the dry, and you just check for the same temperature that you want for your humidity on the wet. Not much to it, about as accurate as you can get.